Winter Wonderland is starting next week in Overwatch 2, and it might be the most rewarding event we've seen since launch. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm Damesage from the Omnic Post. Blizzard just shared some more details about the upcoming Winter Wonderland event for Overwatch 2. They did a blog post, I'll link it below. Now in case you're new to the game, that is the Overwatch Christmas event. The event itself might not be the most exciting part here. Well, especially if you have been playing the game for a few years now. What is exciting, however, is the new Winter Wonderland Fair. It might be Blizzard's best move yet when it comes to events. But more about that in a second. As I just said, it might not be the most exciting event because, well, we're not getting any new brawls this year. We do, however, see all the old ones return. So that's May Snowball Offensive, Jedi Hunt, and Freestyle Elimination. Some of these modes have a fair amount of fans, so some people are going to be very excited about this. My personal favorite part of the Winter Wonderland event is always the maps. Some of the classic maps in Overwatch do get a holiday makeover, which usually comes with a lot of snow, decorations, and the occasional gift. And this year, three new maps are getting the holiday treatment. New Queen Street, which already looks kind of winterish, Watchpoint Gibraltar, and Paraiso. Gibraltar is already slightly more to the south, to the south of Spain, but uh, Paraiso? And of course, there will be a few shop skins. This week, we already saw the Nutcracker Fire skin and the festive Kiriko skin added to the shop. In the next few weeks, we can expect the formal wear Tracer and Sojourn and the much anticipated Jingle Bell Mercy skin. And I'm not getting any of those. It, it's just not my thing. What I'll be looking into though is the new event battle pass, the Winter Fair or Winter Wonderland Fair. It seems Blizzard is moving away from the simple challenges where as soon as you hit a challenge, you get some type of reward. And they're moving into a direction that gives us more progression, more loot and more choice. That is a lot more. I don't think you can ask for more more. Yeah, this is getting confusing. During the Winter Wonderland event, you'll be earning tickets by playing the game. You'll get tickets for every 9 games you play, and every win counts double. You can win a total of 40 tickets a week, which is 120 over the whole event. You can spend those 120 tickets on the Winter Wonderland Fair, or the shop. And you can buy one of the three legendary skins that are on there. You can choose between the formal wear skins for Cassidy and Batiste, or the Winter Jammies Iyari skin. Those skins cost 90 tickets apiece. With the 30 tickets you have left, you can buy a highlight intro, an icon, a name card, there's sprays, there's a weapon charm, plenty of choice. Or you could also get the premium event battle pass for the fair. At which point you can earn an extra 480 tickets, that's 600 in total. Which would allow you to buy all of those three skins, but it also adds two extra skins to the shop. A legendary wrapping paper Reinhardt skin, which is a recolor of that quite popular cardboard skin from uh, a few seasons back. And the legendary Kerrigan Widowmaker skin, which is a Starcraft skin that we saw back in Overwatch 1. It's a legacy skin. Now both of those skins cost 160 tickets. It's also going to be a bundle, and I presume it's going to be the formal wear bundle that includes the Tracer and the Surgeon skin that will include extra tickets. But I have no idea how many extra we get. But I think it is safe to say that at that point you can buy almost everything in the Winter Wonderland shop. So that is a quite popular legacy legendary skin, a recolor legendary skin, three new skins, some sprays, highlight intro, icons, the whole shebang. All that for the low price of 500 Overwatch coins. Oh damn, that is really cheap. That's five bucks. That's without kidding the best deal we've gotten yet in Overwatch 2. Which is uh, not saying much, but you know. And even if you don't buy that shop bundle, you're still getting a lot. Now one thing, it does say holiday special price on there. So they're kind of keeping the door open to eventually, if they do this again, raise the price on the premium event pass. But you know. This isn't bad, and I do think they're going to do this again. I actually think that this might be the future of the Overwatch 2 Battle Pass in general. I made a whole video about that already. I'll uh, leave the link below. Now the tickets you end up not spending will become credits a week after the event ends, which is also the moment where the shop will close. So from that moment on, you get some extra credits to spend on whatever legacy skin you want. Which might not be as much for the older players, but for new players, this is a, this is a win. Look, if you measure the success of an event by the amount of cosmetics that you can get out of it, which is totally up to you, uh, this might be getting closer, not close, closer to what we had in Overwatch 1. Sure, to get the full experience you need to pay, but um, it also removes the whole randomness that we had with loot boxes. And while there might not be as much loot as there was back in the day, there's definitely more progression and 
there is choice. You might remember this, but I was kind of worried when I saw the trailer a few weeks ago for season eight, but they have managed to convince me. I think we're actually moving into a future where you don't necessarily want to buy the main battle pass. Maybe you're going to be more focused on the event battle passes because those are more your thing. You'll have that choice. And that is an interesting future. But tell me, what do you think about this winter fair? Let me know in the comments. A big thank you to my patrons for their support. You guys are legend. And you too can become part of the Omnic Post family over on patreon.com slash the Omnic Post. Check out this video on how Blizzard might be testing hero bands soon. And make sure to subscribe. Friends, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Bye bye.